Wake up. Going on knees to Ivanka Trump, Meghan buying a one-way ticket to election defeat, no chances. Meghan Markle and the US president's daughter, Ivanka Trump, may end up battling it out for the 2024 presidential election, according to some commentators. Talk of a possible future political career for Meghan Markle is gaining traction, with speculation she could go head-to-head -head with former US President Ivanka Trump in 2024. Royal editor Camilla Tomini has spoken of the possibility on ITV's This Morning. Oh my goodness me, I don't even want to imagine a celebrity death match between Ivanka Trump and Meghan, she said. I think I know who'd win actually, and I don't think it's the Markle. Wouldn't it be great, just for copy, journalistically, to see them both go head to head in 2024? I love that this idea of Ivanka as the next president. Another Trump Meghan would find herself up against, with similar political speculations surrounding Ivanka Trump following her time as an advisor during her father's time in office. Ivanka definitely has political ambitions, no question about it, a source told CNN last month. She wants to run for something, but that still needs to be figured out. Meghan has picked up her political rhetoric once again now she has left life as a working royal behind her. During the 2016 presidential campaigns, she famously called Donald Trump divisive and misogynistic, but after she married Prince Harry in 2018, she was forced to adopt the royal family's apolitical stance. However, since Meghan and Harry decided to step down from the royal front line, she has embraced her newfound freedom in the run-up to presidential elections. Ivanka Trump, too, has increased her public presence during her father's campaign this year, and she introduced him at the recent Republican convention. Commentator Rosa Silverman speculated last week, might Ivanka be eyeing a slot on the Republican ticket? Yes, back in 2017, she insisted she tries to stay out of politics. But people change. Writing in the Telegraph, Ms. Silverman added that America loves a dynasty and that the bookmakers have given the first daughter 33 to 1 odds of winning the 2024 election. Meghan has been given the less favorable prediction of 100 to 1 chance to win the 2024 election. While she has also been reluctant to voice aspirations for the White House, Ms. Silverman joked, where else except the White House is there to go when you've already made it to princess level in your 30s? Donald Trump Jr. and Ivanka were some of Republican voters' favorites to replace their father in 2024 according to a news site Saxius and Survey Monkey poll from January. Although the first daughter's brother took a larger portion of his party's support, Ivanka was the only one of Mr. Trump's children invited to speak at the Republican National Convention recently, fueling reports that she is his favorite. The Atlantic noted in 2018, Trump, had been grooming her for years to take over the family empire. She was the golden child. However, Meghan leap back into political discussions only six months after leaving the firm has caught commentators' attention, too. She has not confessed any longing to be in the White House, but royal author Lady Colin Campbell claimed in July that Meghan had wanted to get her foot in the door for a while. She said, I know the Duchess of Sussex has political ambitions and I've been told that one day she wants to run for president. I think everything she is doing, leaving the royal family and moving back to California, is part of her plan and she has taken Harry along with her. Meghan did not openly refer to any candidates or party, but she said we all know what's at stake this year and encouraged the public to be energized to see the change that we all need. Remember in 2014, Meghan launched a lifestyle blog called The Tig, named after her favorite Italian red wine Tignanello. The Tig also featured a smattering of celeb content, including then-designer and hotelier Ivanka Trump taking part in a very brief Q plus A. Meghan's introduction of Ivanka takes flattery to a new, nauseating level. Donald Trump's daughter is staggeringly beautiful and so incredibly savvy and intelligent. Don't get me started on her jewelry collection, the late-night window shopping I have done on my computer, snuggled up in my bed with a glass of wine, staring longingly at the beautiful designs, wrote Meghan. She goes on to write that while arranging the interview, we also began planning drinks and dinner for the next time I was in NY. 
the obsequiousness is hard to stomach, even at a distance. Similarly, witnessing Meghan fawning over someone just that smidge higher than her, at the time, on the celebrity ladder is excruciating.